corked and tainted wine. Does your wine taste weird or just a little off? Well, stick around because today we're going to go over everything you need to know about corked or tainted wine. Coming up. So in today's video, we're going to go over what corked and tainted wine is. Then we'll go over what is not considered to be corked or tainted wine. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video because we'll go over everything you should do in case you think you have corked or tainted wine. So let's get into it. So what is corked wine? So corked wine is wine that has been contaminated and spoiled. This can also be referred to as cork taint. Cork wine occurs when the airborne fungi and microorganisms come in contact with the cork and create a chemical compound known as TCA or 246 trichloranosol, causing the wine to spoil. But remember, all you need to know is TCA. You don't have to pronounce that big funky word. <laughs> when a wine is corked, it will smell like damp or soggy cardboard. And you can't tell if a wine is corked by actually smelling the cork itself. Instead, what you want to do is you want to smell the wine. This is because that musty smell within the wine will be much more noticeable if you smell the wine itself as compared to just the cork. Now a corked wine will taste dull and flat and have no fruit notes. Detecting a tainted smell and or taste in the wine depends on the wino's sensitivity or threshold to it. Sometimes it can take an experienced wine drinker to detect an issue within the wine. However, remember, most wine is not corked or tainted. Less than 5% of natural corked wines are actually corked. So let's say you drink 50 bottles of wine a year, which I think most people would consider to be quite a bit of wine. If 5% of wines are considered to be corked or tainted, at most you're gonna come across two, maybe three bottles of wine tops that are affected by this wine flaw. So next let's talk about what is not considered corked wine. So just because a wine has a flaw to it or doesn't taste the way it's intended to, does not necessarily mean that it's corked. There are various other types of wine flaws that could potentially affect a wine. So for example, say that you get a wine and you have pieces of wine cork floating within it. That doesn't necessarily mean that the wine is corked. Also, if you have a wine that has a synthetic cork or one of those twist off caps, it's a very low likelihood that the wine is actually gonna be corked or have that bacteria within it. Wine can also be oxidized and not be considered corked. This occurs when too much oxygen is let into the bottle of wine, which causes white wine to taste similar to apple cider and red wine to taste nearly flavorless. This can be caused by issues with making a wine, storing a wine, or leaving a wine bottle open for too long prior to serving it. So, for example, a restaurant can have a bottle of wine open all day prior to serving it to you for dinner. However, this wine fault is not due to having bacteria within the wine, such as with corked wine. Instead, it's due to the wine becoming too oxidized, which is what makes it taste off. Again, no bacteria with oxidized wine, bacteria with corked wine. But wait! Before you move on, consider subscribing. We post weekly content on wine tips and tricks for any level of wino to enjoy the world of wine. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload new content. So last, let's talk about what you should do if you think your wine is corked. First, you should know that a corked wine is not harmful to your health, but it ruins your experience with enjoying that wine. Now, if you come in contact with a wine that you think has been corked, have the person you're with smell and taste the wine as well. Also, check the description of the wine you ordered or purchased. If the aromas and the notes don't match up, then it's probably corked or something's wrong with it. You can also tell your waiter or return the bottle to the store that you purchased it from. Now, if you think your bottle of wine smells corked, suggest to the sommelier, if you're at a restaurant, to open another bottle of the same wine and compare the smell from one wine to the other wine. Remember, the restaurant can always use the open bottle of wine for buy the glass orders. Now, if you compare a corked bottle to a good bottle of wine, the difference in smell should be obvious. And remember, waiters often do not have much experience or training in detecting corked bottles of wine compared to good bottles of wine. 
So if you really think that a bottle of wine is corked, stick to your guns and make sure that you get a new bottle. <laughs> <laughs> If both bottles of wine smell bad, there's probably a whole different issue going on. So, for example, the restaurant's not storing their wine correctly. Now, as a last resort, you want to contact the winery that the bottle of wine comes from. However, remember that they don't have to compensate you for that bottle of wine. And you only want to do this if the restaurant doesn't reimburse you or doesn't give you a new bottle of wine for the wine that you're sure is corked. And that's all you need to know about how to tell if your wine has been corked or tainted. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you like what you see. We'll see you in our next video. Cheers. Cheers.